Have you picked up a new Android tablet and you would like to watch some movies while you're on the plane? Well, my name is Adria and I'm going to show you how because I'm flying to San Diego from San Francisco tonight and I definitely want to watch some movies on my new Android tablet. This is um, the Motorola Zoom. So let me go ahead and show you how. So first thing you need to do is go ahead and get signed in. Let me go ahead and keep it on. You know, power saving feature is so awesome. And uh, from here, I'm going to uh, head over to the Android Marketplace right because you can buy movies now uh, via the Android App Store which is kind of awesome I'm still waiting for Amazon to kind of start sharing videos out but you can do Netflix but only streaming so no offline viewing just yet alright once we're in here we can see it says movies I've gone ahead and purchased a couple so um, there I'm in my movies and when I click movies then it gives me the option over here to look at my existing movies and so I have a couple I have um, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and then I have the Lincoln Lawyer, right? And so basically to go ahead and make these available for offline use, um, in the upper right hand corner here, it says manage offline rentals. And when I do that, then I have the option to go ahead and it says down here, um, while content is pinned in this table, our tablet, it cannot be streamed or downloaded on another device. I found this out last night because um, if you haven't noticed it, if you buy things in the um, Android Marketplace, you can actually watch them on YouTube now, which is pretty awesome. But then I tried to watch the Harry Potter stuff on YouTube on my computer, and I couldn't. So basically, you mark things uh, for offline viewing here. See, so I have that checked. I'll be watching the rest of Harry Potter on um, the plane tonight, and I am flying on Southwest. Woot, woot. Um, meanwhile, we have uh, the Lincoln Lawyer and it expires in 30 days. So let me also talk about how this works. When you do a rental, you pay anywhere from $1.99 to $4.99. The more expensive movies are the ones that are HD or their newer releases. Then you then have 30 days to watch it, at least to activate it. Once you activate it and start watching it, it's a 24-hour rental. So that's kind of interesting. I don't know how that's going to work. I am so used to using Netflix where I can keep my DVDs as long as I want and the streaming stuff is always available so I'm not sure how much I like this but I just wanted to try it so that's how you go ahead and enable um, your Android uh, movies for offline use so you can watch them on the plane. I'm Adria, take care and remember to subscribe, go ahead and click if you like it and feel free to leave a comment. Bye!